Hello and welcome to the fake news debunker of the West Africa Broadcast and Media Academy, Wabma. Wabma is a professional media training institute and a finishing school for aspiring and current media practitioners offering short and long-term certificate courses at the basic, intermediate and advanced levels. First stop is Atiku, the owner of Tiger Skyscraper Estate in Dubai. A viral WhatsApp video which was also widely shared on TikTok and Twitter claims Atiku is the owner of an expensive skyscraping estate seen in the clip. The claim is false. Facts are, after close observation of the video, we found two overlapping usernames. Although blurry, there were two different user identities. Using the Invid metadata tool, we extracted relevant information about the given data and the result shows that the video may have been technically tampered with. As the creation date reads Friday, January 1, 1904, 001300 GMT, West Africa Standard Time. Similarly, using the same tool, the coordinates of the clip were missing hence its origin could not be geolocated we therefore deployed the jeffrey metadata viewer to extract the coordinates but it again proved abortive however it revealed the original ip address as 197.210.53.88 Using a web-based IP address, we traced the original location, which revealed that the clip originated from Abuja, the federal capital territory, with latitude of 9.05735 and longitude of 7.48976, as seen in the image. Conclusion The claim that Atiku is the owner of Tiger Skyscraper Estate in Dubai is therefore false. The next stop, did Obi help secure clemency for Nigerians on death row in Singapore? A post on social media claimed that 500,000 Nigerians on death row in Singapore have been released after Peter Obi's intervention. The post was initially shared by a social media user who cloned the account of Dati Baba Ahmed, the vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party. The claim is false. Our checks reveal that the cloned account with user Username at Dati Yusuf Ahmed and profile name Dr. Yusuf Dati Ahmed has been renamed to AGK Ofebu and at AGK Ofebu 1 as its new username. The post appeared on the renamed Twitter account before it was eventually deleted. It was also published as breaking news on a news website by the name Daily Excessive. The findings. Using Yandex, a reverse image search on one of the pictures showing prisoners dressed in brown looking out behind bars revealed that the picture was taken at Rwanda's Gitarama Prison 5 where Hutu prisoners were kept. According to an official of the Nigerian in diaspora commission nidcom the commission is not aware of such development nidcom does not have any information on this matter at the moment the official said going through the article on ajmc a further twitter search showed that the official twitter handle of the labor party's vice presidential candidate is at dati baba ahmed and not at Dati Yusuf Ahmed. On August 1, at a media briefing in Abuja, Dati Baba Ahmed disassociated himself from fake social media accounts attributed to him. He added that several social media accounts across different platforms were opened by suspected imposters without his knowledge or approval. Conclusion The claim that Peter Obi's intervention led to the release of 500,000 Nigerians on death row in Singapore is false. Do you have a story? Tag us on socials at Wabma Online or share with us on WhatsApp at 0902-547-8072 and we will fact check for you. Did Tinubu's daughter ask him to drop presidential ambition as claimed in viral video? A Twitter post that has gone viral claims that a daughter of the All Progressives Congress presidential candidate, Asiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, made a video cautioning him to drop his presidential ambition because he is not fit for the position. This claim is misleading. Here is what we know.
the video which was originally posted on instagram had been shared recently on twitter however the author of the original post is an activist and instagram influencer adetoun onajobi who posted the video on her official instagram page just adetoun in july we gathered that she referred to asiwaju tinubu as her father in the video figuratively because she considers him a father out of respect and the relationship he has with her husband before the video surfaced on the internet adetoun had previously made it clear in an interview on a show called robin minds that tinubu is like a father to me but i will never endorse him Conclusion. The video is misleading and was not made by any of Tinubu's biological children as was claimed. Remember to fact check anything before you share it. Don't engage, don't amplify. Do you have a story? Tag us on socials at Wabma Online or share with us on WhatsApp at 0902-547-8072 and we will fact check for you. Join Wabma in debunking fake stories. Share this content with your contacts. My name is Adeze Ultra Favora.